was uh, experiencing nose bleeding was taken to the hospital he wanted to play this one he's a warrior entertainer destroyer at the top of the order he's back Shajad. and he's uh, probably only breathing through his mouth his mo nose uh, has been put a plaster on look at the commitment they, they, this game means a lot to these teams wow block hole from Daulat Zadra so it's it's a difficulty in breathing through the through the nose because it's been strapped so what he does he's breathing breathing through the mouth it's a tough task but he believes in hitting boundaries he doesn't move too much when betting so it can be useful he wanted to play this one he wanted to play this one because he knows the the importance of entertaining the fans he knows that they've been suffering they have come on the ground and have to be entertained and that's why he decides to show his true nature the warrior is on the ground respect Absolute respect. Lower from Daulat Zadran this time. Short pitch. Inwari was quick on the on the shot. Shot. Manages to just get his bat in time to have it down the ground for just one run. Huge expectations, and that's where they are. The cameramen have been doing exceptional job in capturing the moments, the big moments, and they're doing it. He got hit yesterday, but is on the job. He's ready. Like like Shahzad, he's also a warrior. Well, that was a thank you message from Usman Ghani yesterday. Sweeping a ball right onto the camera. Luckily that it didn't damage neither his camera nor his nor himself. Because at times the tools they enjoy working with are more precious to them. Are really, really more precious to them. Who's more precious? And here he is, 77. Entertainer, superb man, superb man, great entertainment, and they're having fun. The cameramen, they love their job. That's why they keep coming every day. And I so, so is Sajad. So is Dollar Jadran. He wants to play. He wants to entertain, and he wants to have a serious impact on play. Absolutely. For Shahzad Muhammadi, I earlier said he's got two sevens on his back. So James Bond double seven. Absolutely for his courage. Absolutely for his commitment on the ground. 13 overs been bowled, 91 for the last of five wickets. early wicket but Ben was taken for runs one for 37 in his four overs Shahpur has bowled economically you know, what a tremendous atmosphere here it's always joyful to be back in Kabul describing the action and Shahzad will be expected to explode with the bat in hand all difficulties but he manages he manages every time and that's why cricket in Afghanistan is different from across the globe the fighting spirit and that's what they're playing for the golden trophy here one team will win it. Will it be the team, the Sonic Knights, who won on the previous occasion? Catch, catch, catch. Down the ground. Has he split the field? Yes, he has. It's four. Welcome, Seth, in the commentary box. Thank you, Devinder. Wonderful shot from Azmatullah Marze. It was in the slot for him, and he smashes it down the ground. The fielder had a sprawling effort, but the timing from Azmatullah Omar Zay was magnificent. Plays together in the under 19, straight down the ground is always better ops and presenting the full face of the bat. Oh, no. This time just getting a bit of part of the bat, just shuffling across at the crease. What a player, what a tremendous player he has turned out. Look at this one, lovely tossed up delivery which was coming back inside edge. Wanted to be single, a boundary has already been struck in this over. Long off, long on, on the boundary. Excellent delivery. What a comeback from Noor Ahmed after going for four of the very first. Wonderful balling from Noor Rahman. He rarely balls that leg break. He most focuses on the googlies to the right-handers. What a backdrop. What a backdrop. Cricket on, other, on one side and mountainous view on the other side. So he's sitting at a 
very good position. He's seeing everything. The beauty of Kabul and the charm of Afghanistan cricket. You can see Azmatullah Umar there. It will be a tough task for the selectors to select Azmatullah Umar there, Karim Janat, Golbadin Naib for the national duty. But this man is a very sensational inspiration. There's a competition. Young person oh, what he does, he, he brings the batsman forward. Excellent delivery. Once again, he's not a fear, fearful character. He is a courageous man. That's why he tosses the ball up there. Excellent delivery. Demands respect from someone who believes in taking it big, smacking it down to a, for boundaries. Down the leg side, it will be called a wide, I think. It brilliant, is. absolutely brilliant. On the spot, on the spot, Noor Ahmad. Three overseas ball today. What an impactful, impactful bowler he has been for his team. One for 14 is three overs. Yeah, Noor is showing that. Look at the fans, ladies enjoying the game. So Dawood Zadran wrecking havoc in the first over, getting two wickets. Both the openers were sent. Packing two biggest wickets in the competition, Gurbaz and Noor Ali Jadran. Then Ibrahim taking that wicket, three early wickets. Noor Ahmad is impressive as always. Three overs going for 14 with 10 dot poles and taking the wicket also. That's what they're playing for. Golden Trophy here, tremendous atmosphere. And the game is developing nicely. We don't know which team is going to take the advantage from here. He won the toss, he decided to bowl first. The decision was rewarded and he has decided to bring himself back into the attack conceding eight from the first over so here we go shapur zadran will continue with the bowling it is experience versus new talent azmatullah marzai he showed that Tenerity, ingenuity is just words. It's always hard working. Hard working is the standard. Shapur Jadran runs up. Shot! Shot of the tournament. Shot of the tournament because the experienced campaigner was running in. Pressure situation. A wicket here could have changed everything, but he's a sensible cricketer. He picks the moment. He delights the crowd with its delightful stroke play downfield. Excellent stroke. Yes, what I was saying, Azmatullah Marza is proving that hard working is the standard. Look at that. Downtown Kabul, what a shot that was from Azmatullah Marza. This time couldn't time it well. Should be back for two. He wants two. Good, hard, aggressive running between the wicket. Good, hard, aggressive running between the wicket is, is uh, experiencing some trouble there. This is what transpired. Shot down the ground, attempted. The field spin lurking around on the boundary, makes a throw. Dola Chadran took two wickets from the first over. He's got one over left up his sleeves. His services will be required. His services will be required in the death overs if this partnership develops into something monumental. His one over will be crucial because hey! it looks like the two players who have been producing consistent runs and game-changing partnerships are united together united together in this fight of bailing their team out of crisis situation to put their team in a commanding position Sinwari is on to 25 of 22 Azmatullah 6 already from this over 16 of 11 The third man is up in the circle, men at the fine leg up in the circle. Long on is still in place. Cuts. Attempted, beaten. Yes, it was a full toss on the off stamp. And Azmatullah was not able to get it in the middle of the bat. I think he have missed that. It was an opportunity to get a boundary of that delivery. So third man up in the circle. Man at the backward point up in the circle, a guided stroke would have produced a boundary. 
some relief in the betting department they're coming out positivity transmitted down the wicket down the wicket fielder on the boundary was there a need to play this stroke Shapul Chadran the captain strikes he strikes Azmatullah was there this need of playing this shot celebration celebration all around once again the key man has been dismissed captain brings himself back into the attack down the wicket the builder was placed perfectly placed didn't have to move an inch he's gone yes and experience wins the battle against Azmatullah Marzai more examination more examination did he touch the boundary ropes while accepting that catch this is a big moment he's waiting for it it's fate here so the fielder was there on the boundary ropes was there any movement of the rope tough to pick tough to pick i think the fielder was confident and uh, a good comeback after being hit by a six by azmatullah so this this is something that's going to explain it he was well on the on the boundary ropes was there any movement the reflection any movement was he in touch with the boundary ropes the moment he he took that catch i think abdurrahman was confident that he hasn't touched the rope azmatullah is still waiting for the decision and that's all you can see on the big screen out azmatullah disappointing, yeah, disappointing end to a wonderful player who is uh, was looking to pick some momentum into his betting six and two and the dot pull and a picket from this over from Shahpur Zadran 10446 a partnership is needed here they needed his services as the Bumbai at the crease for the last few overs but they want consistent exploration Shinwari suggesting as the Bumbai to go after the bowling he did so by hitting six of the very first then two then the dot pull then a picket Yes, the good thing is for Kabul Eagle, Samullah Shinwari is out there in the middle. And he need to bat deep in the crease. Nangyal Harote, eight matches, 25 runs. And look at the strike rate, 178. Catches the out. Just falls in no man's land. Relief, relief for the team Kabul Eagle. No! And you have to be careful. You have to be careful when taking runs here. Complete it, complete it. Drama. All over. Decision is pending. Oh, the bat is still in the air. I think he's all right. He is all right. Luckily, he was all right, and he is comfortably in. So the decision will be not out. It has happened before also, India versus Pakistan in 2004, one-day series. Within the Sehwag was exploring around the non-striker end, was with casual, was dismissed, run out. So this is what happened, airborne shot turn and throw towards the keepers he took it too lightly could have proved very oh. very fatal set the example if you are Shinwari a senior campaigner for the team drag the bat casualness can be compromising at times Shinwari what is going to do about this one slower delivery smashed down the ground there will be single, single, so 15 overs bowled, it's 107 for 6. Khan Steel, avalin va bozorg tarin fabrika ya zaube ahan ba me'yar.
finishing room. Shinwari, the key man here. 28 of 24. Azmatullah in this match. Leaves the commentary box. His position is taken by Noman Ashrafi. Noman? How will that wicket of Azmatullah influence the way the batsman will bat from here on? Thank you, Devenda Abdurrahman comes back to bowling. Let's see what instructions he's got from Shapu today. The other day he was told to skid the ball, hit the deck hard. Coming back to the Ayub Kabul Eagles innings, they are struggling. The key wickets that would be a sigh of relief there would have been faced was Azmatullah Umar Zais. Slapped there by Shinwari, but it will just be single. So. Azmatullah Umar Zai, just as this trend rage is such an impact player, Nur Ali Zadran, another one, Nur Ali Zadran, Rahmanullah Gurbaz, the dashing opening pair, couldn't make an impact today. Karote, a batsman who has shown us that he can hit the ball quite well. But different game situation, no man. It was about providing impetus for one, one to two overs. Was but betting for five overs, knowing that the team is still not there where they want it, a lot depends on how Shinwari bats. He has to strike this balance of getting boundaries as well as keeping his wickets intact. Well, yes, Shinwari is the go-to man here, the key for the Ayubi Kabul Eagles. He has been at this situation before, Shinwari. <laughs> Cover drive. Fielders in this uh, outside the circle will grab it, it will just be single, coming back, Shinwari has had uh, these situations before, one of them just recently in this tournament, where he had to chase 17 over the last uh, over, and also, in a uh, less day competition here in the same very ground, Shinwari had to chase 347 against Amu, he was playing for Spinga Tigers, yes, uh, he, he scored 192 in that match. He was the man of the match of the final. He almost took his team home single-handedly. I remember I watched that game closely. The pressure was not less than this, uh, mind you, Devenda. He was pretty much in that pressure as well. So this guy is kind of used to it. He is the guy who can do it for them. The thing, the, the thing to note will be how the Missinak Knights manage that huge impact that Shinwari has to offer. If they are able to get his wickets, they can consider this match theirs, but still, we have 4.3 overs to go, so anything can happen. Powerful shot down the ground, there will be single, that will be the strategy, taking singles and feeding strike back to Shinwari. If he spots the opportunity, he will go for the shot, no undue risk for the next 2-3 to three overs. Well, I wouldn't say 2-3 to three overs, because that will take it to 19th. I think they are going to take risk, but the important thing will be the roles, who will take it. I think uh, Samuel Lash do it, a set batsman, the one who will be confident with his shots. Uh, Nangyal Kharote, he can rotate the strike. Most of the majority of the strike should be given to Shinwari. Look, having a look at the current uh, projected scores, if they go at current run rate 142, not enough for a final, they will be searching in anything between 160 to 170. I think they have a potent line, bowling lineup to defend it, but well, things can go anywhere from here. Hitting the deck, not quite connecting it with third and up in the circle. One forty-two, not enough for a final. They will be searching in anything between. 160 to 170. I think they have a potent line, bowling lineup to defend it, but well, things can go anywhere from here. Hitting the deck, not quite connecting it with third and up in the circle. He wanted to get it behind the Queensman at the square position to get a boundary. He's frustrated. He has missed out on that potential opportunity of getting a boundary, but should not affect his game plan because it's still four overs to go. So, should he be thinking about? It? getting consistent boundaries or choose one bowler and go after him completely? Well, I think it depends on the batsman. Kharote can do that. He can rotate the strike and pick an odd, odd delivery for the boundary. But Shinwari, the guy who can take any bowler on. 
Abdul Rahman. He has that ex good in time it there, Faroti. So it will be a dot ball. A dot ball at any stage of the game of T20 cricket is precious. Ayub Kabul Eagles one on two for six after 16 overs, four to go. So this is what transpired. Oh dear! Did they hit the shoe and then went up? Was there that opportunity for Abdul Rahman on the follow through? Edible ground before reaching him. from Abdul Rehman, at the 25, He's waiting, waiting for a sensational knock once again from Shinwari. He's done with the, he's done with the bat, but uh, still engrossed, he wants something positive. Well, yes, I'm, uh, I think, I'm sure he's got thinking about switching careers, is he, picking up football there, Gurbaz? A brilliant talent, Rahmanullah Gurbaz, just couldn't get his runs flowing today. Sinwari, the calm and cool head, he was frustrated last over. He couldn't get the ball away from Abdul Rahman and he was given with Zadran to Shinwari. Wide delivery there from Fapur Zadran. I think the idea will be to ball wider block hole deliveries. At the last overs, at the death overs, it's a very good strategy, mostly. The batsman cannot take them on the, uh, at an increased pace. And also the short bound is through the onside, that's why he's trying to keep it away. The strong zone for Shinwari is hitting it down the ground or, or through the onside, that's why he wants to take it away from, from the right-hand batsman. Third man is up in the circle, and so is the man in the backward point position. Get it right. Play and miss, play and miss. Was going for that heel through the onside. This lower ball, the weapon of fast bowlers in this tournament. Not easy to get them away. The slower balls from any bowler. Shapur has been using him very effectively. The slower deliveries. We've had Hamid Hassan, Wafadar Moman, and other bowlers who have bowled these slower deliveries at very good efficiency. And uh, it's, it's about using it and using it well. If you get it wrong, Mirwa just will tell you. It was very effective taking four wickets in one match, but another match just out something different, considering 28 in two overs. And also, Gulbuddin Naib was taken for 29. Well, the bowlers know that the batsmen will go after them in the last overs. Uh, even if they have scored a lot, they will still go after the bowlers to post as much as they can as target. So the idea behind slower delivery when they take the pace of the ball is the batsman cannot get the timing right. And whenever they, uh, uh, you know, they don't get the timing right, there are mostly chances of wickets. And especially in the last overs when the batsman try to play up his shot. Works away on the onside. Should be thinking about coming back for the second. He wants the second run and fumble. Like 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 man, two runs taken. Afsar Zaza encouraging is uh, encouraging the fielders to no, they're encouraging them to stand a little bit closer the, to the boundary and come when the ball is bold, he tells him to come a little bit forward. Rahmanullah Gurbaz, he is a concerned guy. He should be. He couldn't make an impact at the top. With such an amazing and glorious form. Down the track, uh, couldn't get the timing there. Kharoti, it will just be a single again. The focal point, the focus will be again on Shinwari. Kharoti can get you these ones in twos, but ones in twos are not going to hurt the Hazrat Limited Messianic Knights. It's all about boundaries. And as the balls go, the overs get less. Only three overs to go after this. So if, even if they score at 10 per over, They'll get 30, so they'll get anything around 147 to 150, which may Shapu, uh, sorry, the likes of Shazad. So Shinwari, Shinwari, what he wants, he wants big shot now. The stage has come for him. The stage has come for him to produce a big shot. 
is this the moment that he's, he has been waiting for? The man at the extra cover inside the circle. Reaching for it. Is there an edge? Is there an edge? There was some sound. Well, that's the delivery I told you about that Shapur Zadran was looking when he bowled a wider delivery at the first ball. There might be a bottom edge there, but not easy to get away. The block hole delivery is in the last overs. The batsmen always try to heave it for big shots and not easy to get the low full tosses or the block hole deliveries to big shots. Imagine just opening the face of of the bat and guiding it so now they send a field spin on the boundary at the point position on the offside at the slot SCL 2020 the final today the seventh edition of the tournament will it be Missanek Knight defending it will there be a new winner in Kabul Eagles shot it's gone up in the air it's gone up in the air and the field spin will take it the plan has Shrabu worked Zadran. the plan has worked a wide pass, a slower delivery, the combination of two lethal deliveries from Shapur Zadran in one results in the all important wicket of Samiullah Shinwari. So he is not Mr. Not Out anymore in this match. Samiullah Shinwari, Shapur Zadran setting him up, bowling slower deliveries, bowling wide Yorkers, and then getting both. Acceleration, nonetheless, who is the batsman? Three overs to go. They cannot afford any anymore to go with singles and doubles. Shapur Zadran playing game with a mind in this tournament. The other day we saw how he gave tips to Abdul Rahman in uh, Dawla Zadran. Nijat Masood is the new batsman. Uh, they will get 147. So anything under 150 is uh, chaseable, anything under 160 is chaseable, but considering the situation of the game. He didn't miss the stumps, but it doesn't matter, oh. he's got the inside edge, there's a very faint edge, maybe, the umpire has got it. The eighth wicket is gone, now for UB Kabul Eagles, things are looking grim for them. and also the possibility of getting pulled out inside 20 overs and then 17 for 8 is up goes for first ball back caught up sir, off the bowling of Rehman Sejar they just left the ground and then 17 for 8 will he open the batting today a lot of questions a lot of calculations need to be done he hasn't suffered any kind of injury it's, it's a internal bleeding I suspect has to be monitored very very carefully but at the moment 117 for 8 play out the full quota of 20 overs this has been tremendous performance in the bowling department by the team Misanek Knight, Dawla Jadran providing them the early impetus by taking two wickets severe damage at the top of the order by Dawla Jadran Jia Sharifi fast bowling option has come out to bat to play out the remaining overs so get as many runs as they can this juncture get to 140 145 who knows well the tail enders have done it before for their teams so the uv cowboy eagles tail enders will try to do the same even if they bat bat out the full 20 overs it's good for them they can at least get some decent score on the board abdul rahman bowling great at the death overs It has happened before also, losing eight wickets. Australia was struggling against against New Zealand in the 2003 World Cup. So what happened? The partnership, have a quick partnership highlight for the ninth wicket. The partnership for the ninth wicket changed everything. They managed a middling total in hands. They registered that victory. 
So from around the wicket to the left hand batsman, Karoti can bat. Karoti can bat. And big shot attempted, not quite getting the timing right. Taking a single. So it has happened before also in 2003 World Cup Australia was in, in a very, very tough situation, but that partnership, Michael Bevan, the Mr. Consistent, would pick up runs always, always. With Andy Bickel to change everything. Few blows here. Few boundaries, maybe streaky boundaries, maybe inside edge traveling to the boundary. Not easy for the Thailanders to face ballers at that pace. Oh. Abdul Rahman getting that extra bounce in pace there. Superb, absolutely fantastic with his bowling, with his game plans today. Bowling the slower deliveries, the wider yorkers and then when finding the ideal delivery to dismiss Shinwari. Very well plotted wicket that from Shapur. It's on not only about Shapur's intelligent captaincy, he himself has been bowling intelligently today. Shapur Zadran setting the batsman in the last over. Miss Ayana Knight's captain leading from the front. Shinwari was a very important wicket. You all know what he can do, Shinwari, what damage he can do to the last team the, in the previous match. Very good bowling, containing the batsmen, not giving any freedom to express themselves. They, they've been uh, struggling to find boundaries. 23 runs in last 30 deliveries. It's been uh, no going at all. So wide spread field is still sending the man on the boundary at the mid-wicket position on the boundary. <laughs> Slicing it over the top of that backward point position. They need this boundary. They get this boundary. A welcome one for the IUB Kabul Eagles. Sharifi taking his chances knowing there's only two, there are only two of us to go. He couldn't get the timing, but he does get the desired result in that short matters at this stage of the game. 18 overs gone, 123 for 8. So here's how the bowling card looks so far. Daulat Zadran, what a brilliant start that was. Two wickets of the very first over. Ibrahim Khan creating an, an impact again with his bowling. He was a touch expensive later, but he did his job. Shapur Zadran, the captain. Two wickets for him, including the most important wicket of Samuel Lashinwari. Ismail Miakhail, the head of RTA Sports, RTA Network. RTA have done a tremendous job in this Pagiza Cricket League. They are taking the coverage and spreading it across across the social media, also on the YouTube, Facebook and also on Twitter. Yes, tremendous job by the ACB team as well. Wider delivery there from Shapur. The production of Spagiza Cricket League improving year by year and it was great this year as well. A lot of platforms streaming it and telecasting it all over the world as well. So the audience base is strong for the league. Excellent teamwork. Cameramen spot on. They've been exposed to harsh sun but they've been able to provide quality pictures lovely connection and it's been very well picked by the cameraman four four much needed four well these are crucial boundaries these are that can count at the end we have seen one match in this tournament with a difference of just one run the result so these boundaries can count Rangel Kharote he can hit him I think he will he is the batsman that the UB Kabul Leaguers can count on to hit a few more. It's a teamwork, whether you are batting, bowling or fielding or producing the event or organizing the event, the graphics, accuracy, 
when it comes to the numbers, they always determine one run victory in the inaugural match for them this time. He goes again, he goes again, he's bound to get it's gone for four. Yes, as we said, Nangal Kharote, he can do it. The UB Kabul Eagles can count on it. A happy dugout there. Welcome boundaries for Kharote. Two consecutive ones there of Shahpur Zadran. Well timed as well. The engineers are working well and he has engi engineered a wonderful boundary here. Back to back boundaries, two boundaries. So engineering that shot because they had two men on the boundary ropes. He's found the gap. He's found the gap. Well, I think uh, they win the one of the important demands and requirements of T20 cricket, of modern cricket today, is that the batsmen, even at the dawn, the order, they're able to bat well because any time the, the burden can be on your shoulders, Karote showing as that impact. We have seen it for Team India.